Jump into the mother shoe So I would do that because before it was like you had to be like, here's this honking dildo. Yeah, yeah. Here's I the just got product. a 75 inch dildo. <laughs> dildo. And <laughs> they sent me Moby Huge. <laughs> uh. <laughs> it's real. It's real. Well, uh, hi. It's real. <laughs> Welcome back to The Mothership, a show that, as you probably heard, uh, is brought to you by Adam and Eve. <laughs> More on that later. Uh, I am... Dylan, aka Friendly Space Ninja, and I am joined as always by Bruno the Commander and Amanda the Jedi. What up? Okay. Well, that was an intro and a half. Yeah. It was worth it. It was worth it. It was really nice. I liked it. Today, what are we going to do? We're going to talk about unpopular opinions, most specifically, your unpopular opinions. Oh, baby. So if you're not aware, uh, on my Instagram stories, every, like, I'd say every two weeks, I do this tag where I just ask people to tell me their unpopular opinions, whether it's, you know, about movies, about TV series, sometimes about music, whatever it is, just some of your unpopular opinions. And uh, I thought, yeah, let's go through some of them today because uh, some of you guys are, are not okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just thought I, I should say that just yeah. in case. But uh, yeah, uh, but some of them I agree with. Starting with this first one, mm -hmm. unpopular opinion: Pirates of the Caribbean should have ended after the first movie. I mean, I'm indifferent about it. I'm indifferent. I think don't, don't some people think the third movie is the best? I love the first the most. Yeah, the, the first to me is like one of the best movies of its I time. It's, yeah, right. I think it's perfect yeah. for what it yeah, is. Yeah, but. I, yeah. I have an appreciation for the trilogy. Yeah, the, those three. Okay. I think if it had ended after three, I would have been fine with yeah, that. I because agree. four is just super forgettable and boring. Yeah. Five, fuck five. That's the one oh that has, my God. That's the one that has the get girl from Skins in it, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Kaya Scodelaria. I like her okay. a lot. I like her, but, but fuck that yeah, movie. Yeah, fuck me, yeah, it's whatever. so bad. This movie fucked Jack Sparrow so yeah, bad. Yeah, I know. He is just I a know. sad trip. I, I talked about it in my Gossip Girl videos. Yeah. You, uh, like, yeah. <laughs> for some Related. reason, but like, yeah. Jack Sparrow, in the first movie, he is a weirdo, he is mm -hmm. a drunk, but they make a point of showing you that he's also always the smartest person in the room. Yeah. Like, this guy yeah. knows yeah. what he's doing. Exactly. Man he's with counting a on people thinking that he's a dumbass. Exactly. That's and, what I mean. And like, the, the fact that like, <sighs> fucking Hollywood executives were just like people think he's funny when he's being weird just make him weird more and that has becomes his only personality yeah, trait yeah it's and so dumb by the fifth movie he's just a sad drunk, drunk. dumbass that yeah it, it, it's so unpleasant to see him and yeah. it, I, I hate it I hate it so so bad but Ugh. Yeah, no, the, the first three, I, I like the mythology yeah, of the first three. I agree. I actu actually think Davy Jones is a fucking yeah. dope villain. Mm -hmm. Yeah. People don't talk about Davy Jones enough. That is good. Like, the fact, yeah, like, I love yeah. it when they do a villain that, like, people shiver by just hearing the name. And they say <laughs> Davy Jones. Jones. And everyone in the scene is like, oh, fuck, this just got real. Yeah, <laughs> got real. Yeah. yeah. And, like, his first scene. His, intro his introduction scene where he walks onto a boat and asks people like, are you afraid to uh, die? Yeah. yeah. Dude, it's so, so good. good. And the music, Hans Zimmer, thank oh you for my your, God. Yeah. Just for your dun, service. Dun, 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 yeah. dun, 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 no, like, Davy Jones theme. Like oh, the, 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 little, the other, uh, oh, that one. The little like, yeah, the, mu music box, whatever thing. Yes. Oh, yeah, it's so, so good. ominous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So fucking good. Yeah, yeah. I like that. But uh, I, I, I do, now apparently they're rebooting it with yeah. uh, Karen Gillan, uh, Nebula. <laughs> Your favorite character from the MCU, Amanda? <laughs> yeah. People hate that opinion that I have. We'll get there. We'll get there. Yeah, we'll get there <laughs> for oh. sure. But uh, but yeah, apparently they're rebooting it because obviously Johnny Depp is not going to be around. So yeah. they're rebooting it. New story. I, I just hope that they're not. They don't try to rehash what they already did. Yeah, like right. do something. You new. know, yeah. I don't want to have I, do something different. I, yeah. I hope it doesn't deal with the Black Pearl. I hope it yeah, doesn't like, just, just do something, do something new, new in yeah. the universe. And I'll, I'll like be I'm cool sure there's yeah. lots of pirates. In the Caribbean, you know? Like, yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. There, there's so much you can do. There's yeah. so much yeah. you can do. You know, Star Wars has an entire galaxy. Yeah. And the Caribbean an has an ocean. ocean. <laughs> yeah. 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 Right. On an ocean far, far away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a long time yeah. ago. Yeah. A long time ago. <laughs> an ocean far, far away yeah. in the Caribbean. Yes. <laughs> All right, next oh, one. Oh, shit. 
Which is, this person's popular opinion is, Infinity War is cooler than Endgame. That's an easy one. That's not, I don't no, think that's unpopular that's at all. That's not an unpopular opinion. I don't actually think that's... Oh, pre- really? No, no. Yeah, I, no. A lot of I people, people didn't... Give me sh- because to me, I, wrong. I, I don't love Endgame. I like it. I think it's a good ending. I think it stuck the landing. Yeah. Well, that's it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But Infinity War is like... It's where the shit they is went at, there. Crazy. They went there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, like, Thor's a fucking friend. badass. Man. But yeah. I got so much shit for saying that. I was sure that people really loved Endgame, like as no, the wrong. masterpiece. I don't. Of, uh, well, I love it for what it is. Yeah. But you're that right. Has it's to the be, ending. Yeah, that yeah. has to be a vocal yeah. minority of people because I've never heard that the Endgame is more popular than Infinity War. Oh wow. Okay. God. Thank God. Okay. Yeah. Well, that was not an unpopular opinion. You're fired. <laughs> <laughs> Go like, home. You're yeah, but no, because I I don't know. Like Endgame. I love the first act of Endgame that mm. is just super dark and depressing yeah. and just the consequences of losing that fight. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I love the yeah. ending. Like kind Exactly. Of like, yeah. Just the final For act sure. is crazy. I do not like that time travel. Like oh, some I of like it's it. nice. I, I like, I like it. it. I like it. Some of it, I feel like some of it, it is has good. its moments. I think, uh, yeah, I do like, like it. I do like f- it. No, yeah, cap fighting on. cap. I don't like. It's cool. Well, also cool the closure guy, the, for like, like cool. Iron for Man. Tony. Yeah, like, yeah. talking to his dad. Yeah, of... and like the stuff with Hawkeye and Black Widow. Yeah, like that yeah. emotional sacrifice. I actually do like a lot of that. My thing's more. I just think like, hey, it's the Hulk. Okay, yeah, yeah, like uh, I, that I, I like don't the like. America's ass. I, I that's, that's a great line. That's, 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 that's America's yeah, yeah. ass. I do not like Professor Hulk. I d- yeah, it never landed for me, and we know he he's coming back in She Hulk. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. Photos, yeah. Yeah. here's the yeah. thing. Uh, spoiler alert for Shang Chi. If you haven't seen Shang Chi, uh, in the post credit scene of Shang Chi, you mm-hmm. see Bruce Banner, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. not Professor Hulk. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Bruce, Bruce Banner. Banner. Yep. And I think that because a lot of people did not respond well to Professor Hulk, they're going to find a way to reverse that. And yeah. I think that's going to happen during She-Hulk. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. Good. I like that. I don't yeah. mind that. that. Yeah, I don't mind that. I, I, like, I, I, I just like my Hulk to be a brutal motherfucker. That's who the point of the character. Well, it. It's yeah. the point of the character. Yeah. I don't need big, giant, green guy in control of his actions. And doesn't want to fight shit. Like, what's the point? Yeah. What, what the did hell? you do? I, I, because I feel like I'll they take had... human that doesn't want to fight shit because he doesn't want to be Hulk. Yeah, sure. but even that, the problem that, okay, this is a problem that I have with a lot of MCU movies. <laughs> it's, it's like the second they don't really know what to do with the character, it's just like, okay, oh, we're just going to turn you into a constant joke and people are going to laugh. And they yeah, did that with Bruce much. Banner. It was too much. They yeah. took it, they took so much away from just the tragedy of being who he is. Yeah. yeah. And because I feel like Thor Ragnarok is the movie where they really figured out the Hulk. Right. Yeah. Thor Ragnarok is the movie where they stopped figuring out Bruce Banner. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> like they yeah. just turned him and was like, you're a comedy character now yeah. forever. Which, and, you know, that's yeah. Taika. Like, it's that's more Taika that, than. Yeah, which I, I love him so. for. Yeah, me too. I like I it a lot. But, but even I, in Infinity War, he's just cracking jokes. That's what I mean. They should have retconned it back a little bit because it made sense in Ragnarok because he had just gotten out of being the Hulk for so long for that I could years. understand right, for him yeah. being like. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like a that. Uh, neurotic, <laughs> but then after time, I would have wanted that whole thing where you know him and Black Widow had like a like a relationship kind of thing, and I kind of wanted mm. that to to settle back into him having to like deal with like the tragedy of not being able to have the things he wants yeah, because of right. who he is. That yeah. was such a weird surprise to me how they glossed over him and Nat in Infinity War. He just goes yeah. hi Nat, and he goes hi, and then you get someone who's like, "This is awkward." I know, and, and it's then they like, never mention that again. It's man. weird. It's a missed so opportunity. Much. Yeah, really, yeah. really, because yeah. I think yeah. it, it it did a great job at humanizing most of them. I do think that Age of Ultron does some fucked up shit about how. Uh, because of being a black widow she can't have kids and they make yeah. it right. seem like she's the monster too for this yeah. like that's kind and of it's like no up. she's yeah. not but, I, but the only she, thing i like is that i could see why she might think of herself that way that she's been like kind of the same way that rocket raccoon sees himself as like a little monster because he's been like mutilated mm. and experimented yeah. on and yeah. she probably yeah. feels yeah. the same the way they worded it with like not being able to have kids is the thing i think it's just more like the way that they they abused her body and stuff, and now she just yeah. sees herself as like less uh, or for less that. human. Yeah, yeah, she less human see for that. Because okay. yeah. there was this. Uh, well, ironically enough, because she also played in Ghost in the Shell, but it has that Ghost in the Shell mm-hmm. element of like how the character of Matoko just does not see herself as human. Yeah. So like, yeah. there's that yeah. scene in where she she gets naked in front of everyone, and like, there's the guy that just puts a, a coat over her because she doesn't see herself as human. So yeah, she doesn't so think does, of it. Yeah, yeah exactly. She doesn't realize, yeah. yeah, and so yeah, we're I'm, we're not alone. Not alone. Infinity War is it's better much than much better than yeah. Endgame. It's also well, it's uh, all action. Yeah, it, it's more rewatchable. Yeah, yeah it, it feels for like. Sure. Well, I'm yeah. not even. I usually tune out in a lot of action stuff. I actually just felt it hit the emotional beats a lot better too. Just True, like yeah, yeah, just, yeah, yeah, as well. Because you and you're still kind of always wondering like, are they going to manage to pull it off in this one and the next ones where things are going to go really bad? Like, what yeah, is, yeah, yeah. What's going to happen? <laughs> Endgame. Uh, speaking of Black Widow, Nat's death did not hit me. Really, I I cried. 
I was I, like, oh yeah, my I felt God. did not hit me. I you're I a, why. an emotionless monster, yeah. though. <laughs> you're a monster. I, I like it's just the desperation of like her and Clint going back and forth and back and forth. I was like, oh my God, this is brutal. Yeah, this yeah. is rough. this is brutal. I, I do think that it's it's a good scene that just shows how Thanos is just winning. <laughs> like yeah. he, he's oh, just bro. running yeah. shit. But it, I don't know. I it just didn't have the 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 impact for me that Tony did. Oh, Tony. Actually, yeah, that was just... <laughs> I have a fun anecdote there. Right. So day of Endgame, I'm so good at not getting spoiled and like it hadn't been out yet. But no. I think it, no, it, but no, it's it's going to be, it's worse. You want to know, it'll be worse. So I'm streaming just as I'm ending the stream. One of my friends comes in and says, Iron Man dies. What? Just somebody, yeah. Like somebody who like watches my streams like, like fairly regularly. And I was like, why the fuck? fuck would you say that and he's like i was just joking and i'm like no because that might happen and if it does happen he didn't know everyone's gonna think he didn't spo- know yeah. oh but it wasn't even that I, in my head i was like that is gonna be in my head the entire time yeah. i'm watching the movie and yeah. if that's what happens it's going to take away from the emotional moment oh, for me because at that sucks. point it was like the toss-up is, is it gonna be iron man or is it gonna be captain america yeah <laughs> i'm like coming in and giving a spoilers when you come in and be like Thanos rams the gauntlet up his ass like oh, that yeah. you know it's something that's so outlandish that it could never happen yeah so he right. said that and that so that moment was completely undercut for me I uh, teared up you, you had it in your head my head and I got head. angry I was yeah. like you fucking kidding me are you fucking kidding that me that fucking stuff when you get you, yeah you, you know what what movie I got spoiled what I would spoil that Han was dying in a in uh, Force Awakens uh, Someone oh. I feel like even if you know if you know for a fact you can at least go in with the framing knowing it's going to happen and then you can just let the emotion of what the movie was going for happen but when I started realizing I was like oh my fucking god that's what's going to happen that little shit that yeah. little fucking shit so yeah. I was just angry because he didn't even mean it as a genuine spoiler yeah. he was just being a little shit and yeah. I was like I'm going to ban you if you and he just <laughs> I think like the next day I just get like I'm sorry <laughs> oh. and I was like fine you little shit <laughs> fuck yeah. alright well oh, Infinity fuck. War is cooler than Endgame Game. absolutely yeah. we all yeah. agree yeah. all right next one the toby Maguire spider-man movies are so overhyped i'm so sorry yes no yes the older i get the worse they get i rewatched the first and second last weekend and i love them i need to i want to do another full rewatch but it's just like he's like a sociopath in those movies he's just kind of like <laughs> bike messenger clipped me uh, <laughs> hey mj i'm just watching through my window to watch you uh, leave you your house this. yeah no, like, <laughs> i i don't oh, i don't know where it is but i i had recut parts of the movie and then put creepy thriller mu- mu- music behind it which right. is my favorite thing to do i did the same thing for dear evan hansen um oh, and it yeah. plays out like he's a stalker <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, okay, yeah. I get that, um yeah. and it's like it's fine like i do like it for what it is and it, i grew up with those ones so i have like a huge nostalgia thing but it's like every time there's a new spider-man i find something new to like about different versions so i even like andrew garfield i like oh, well, yeah. i like yeah. him a lot yeah. and i like as- i really like amazing spider-man and i like a lot of aspects of the second one even though overall it's pretty buns but Shame. they nailed the scene with gwen stacy though and that's not oh, a pun yeah, yeah, but they yeah, nailed they, they yeah. got it perfect like yeah. two i was like oh my fucking god yeah. you guys they like, did it you did it yeah. yeah they went all the way they yeah and that's that's the thing that i feel about the spider-man movies the same way i feel about the star wars prequels is i can recognize that they're not perfect mm. but the nostalgia is gonna make it that i always gonna yeah oh yeah, there's that. always something there but it's just when it gets to the point where you have to start comparing them because everyone's like which one do you like more i have to kind of start thinking i'm like you know what toby's kind of not great he's not really good at what he does he's good at spider-man like he's yeah. good with the like that's a nice suit you know yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the quips yeah. and stuff he's good with the quips but like he's not a good peter parker i don't like him as peter parker i think he's too weird yeah, oh, okay. yeah he's too I, I, awkward I it's, he's just I kind of like that. and i get he's supposed to be that way in a lot of respects but it's just kind of like but he looks too old yeah he I, looks too old i'm like kristen yeah. dunst <laughs> isn't gonna want you kristen, <laughs> oh can i can i just like, say that kristen dunst never worked for me as mary jane that's Watson. fair oh, I same, yeah. when like i was a kid i loved her i was like hmm. i just think it's why it's, do i have these feelings <laughs> 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 do i want to be her or do no, I want to? I knew I didn't want to be her, so <laughs> yeah. I was just like, hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. interesting. Yeah. I mean, she never worked. I think it's like one of the biggest cases of miscasting. Yes, it, it doesn't yeah. work, man. Well, it's also the first time it they tried. For yeah, it, so it's like, yeah, you can't yeah, hate on it that yeah, much. That's true, that's it true. worked that's for true. what it was. Yeah. How would you have felt about Shailene Woodley? Because she was cast for the Amazing Spider-Man she movies, and they scenes. shot scenes she for the second scenes. one, oh, and they got yeah. cut because there was too much. That's I've true. never seen it, but I just don't see. She's got the opposite problem where she looks too young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. She yeah. Perpa- like even now she'll be playing like adults, and I'm like, you could be in high school still yeah, because she's yeah. just got like she's beautiful, but she just has like 
the ra- not rounder cheeks. Like I'm not calling her fat, but it's just like she's that got baby. Fat she's got a little bit of a baby face. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know? She got a baby yeah. face. She has yeah. a young yeah. face. She has a young face. Yeah. yeah. And the thing, well, yeah. the, how would I felt about her? Like hers. The Mary thing Jane. is, like, we don't know. But I, I know that a lot of yeah. people think that because people say that Shannon Woodley is a weirdo in real life. Is she? <laughs> but when it comes to acting, I like I, her. I think she can do anything. I think so too. I think she's very she dynamic. Can do anything. Yeah. She's, she's really, good. really, really good, and she has a lot of range. And and I genuinely. You never know how they're going to characterize Mary Jane Watson because she's always so different in a comic. Yeah. You have the Mary Jane Watson that's like super sexy, sexy and that you, you just hit the jackpot, like she's Tiger. Super yeah. cool. Yeah. yeah, exactly. That one, and then you get the more like girl next door. Yeah, exactly. The one that's kind of like they've blended her with Gwen Stacy a little bit. And, yeah, 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 yeah. And yep. so you never really know how they're gonna met. I'm sure she would have done great, but I, I just don't trust that this movie would have nailed the writing of her character. That's, that's, that's yeah. That's, that's what it. I mean. Just. Mm. I would love to see those scenes. I don't. I they they're there. They I don't understand why they didn't put them somewhere. Yeah, they like, should have, like why, in a DVD yeah, or whatever. Like, like I have the Blu-ray. I don't understand yeah. why that's not bonus scenes. I would. Because so the worst pictures. part is like pictures, I would cut out so much more of the second movie and just add the Mary Jane stuff in. I know. Yeah. Like the um, Rhino thing. Check well, there was out. other shit. Yeah. Like there was a, there was a, an alternate scene after the death where like his father shows up. Yeah. To, to, um, that whole subplot too out. I don't know yeah, what the hell yeah, that's yeah. there for. That was so dumb that his dad created the spiders and that I the, liked the, it. the spiders can only but like work on Peter. I like no, yeah, I okay, weird. I yeah. liked it because that's kind of similar to what happens in the Ultimate Comic uh, Ultimate Spider-Man comic books in that like um the symbiote isn't a symbiote it's like something that they built to deal with like diseases and like Richard Parker was I'm totally mangling this because it's been so long since I've read it but the rough story is that Richard Parker like coded something into it that would really only work properly with somebody who also had his DNA yeah, yeah. and then it like sabotages and I think it gets, it's hairy I think it goes on but either way it hold, starts the whole thing so I liked that in the first Amazing Spider-Man movie where it was like oh it would make sense that these like genetically modified spiders there's something in it that to prevent Dr. Connors from like doing something oh, you would code yeah, your yeah, genetics yeah, okay. into it yeah, so that yeah. it, it wouldn't work for you in the way you're trying to work it and then that's why it would only work for Peter that Peter is like the genetic anomaly that this thing would actually turn him into Spider-Man mm. okay I can. Okay. I that. like it and but I get they're doing something similar in the, in the, the, the insomnia game like with yeah, the, yeah. Venom yeah, yeah like I was, this, that's what I mean yeah um, like it's like Harry Osborn Harry is, is gonna be, is be Venom, Venom. Yeah. because he was sick and his dad created the symbiote Sy- as symbiote a way to symbiote as a way to right. yeah, yeah so I like that I love that storyline I think that's really cool like aliens are cool but I, I I don't know why I like the weird science aspects that like make something weird happen like, I have a thing yeah, I'm down with that. I have a thing about the symbiote I think that in the MCU when Peter goes on another planet the symbiote should have attached to him Mm. Yeah, that could have been so and much cooler. Brought, they I, brought it from back. Yeah, I just hate that. Yeah. Like from Titan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like I, I just hate That'd be that. Mental, uh, bro. Yeah. That Sony wanted in on that so badly that they're like, we're gonna make our Venom, and we're just gonna tell you, you have to use our Venom. I hate that. I don't want Tom Hardy in the MCU at all. Me neither. Just like stay in your old weird little fucking corner, me please. Yeah. It just drives me crazy that Venom doesn't have the Spider-Man symbol in the front. Well, he's going to get it now. That's what I mean. Venom's never attached to Spider-Man. Yeah, I know. Exactly. But it it just seems weird to me. Like, I understand, like, the story that they're going for with, like, the whole Venom. I know, but now they do a weird thing. thing. That's one thing that Spider-Man 3, the Raimi one, did well. This idea that the Mm -hmm. the symbiote connected with Peter first. First, because you're supposed to. It's always supposed to. And that's why why Venom is a perfect villain for Peter, because Eddie Brock hates Peter. Venom hates Spider-Man. Yeah, exactly. Because Venom feels like he was abandoned by Spider-Man and he hates him for it. And then Eddie feels like, depending on the version of it, it's either he steals somebody, Mm -hmm. he steals his job, he messes something up. I hope that they do um, the the psychological elements of Venom well because the Venom in the movie is kind of an idiot. Yeah. (laughs) He's like a baby. uh, Yeah, yeah. (laughs) That sucks because (laughs) the thing is like, the the thing is like, I don't want things because even in the comics, like it... Venom is not a villain that you can just punch to win. You know what no, I mean? Yeah. Like it, yeah. he was created as a villain that, like, if it comes down to a fist fight between Peter and Venom, oh, Peter loses up. every time. Yeah, because yeah, Venom's just gonna be up. like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. so, so, so I, I just hope that they they make it a bit smarter. I think mm-hmm. they that's it's so shitty though because at the end of the second movie, which is. A romantic comedy honestly they make the thing where it flips like whatever I'm assuming what Doctor Strange does I don't know if you've watched the second Venom mm-hmm. movie yet uh, I've, I've never I Do didn't care? finish it okay yeah, either way care, it, there's the the extended c- the bonus scene and it just basically everything flips and then suddenly the TV changes to the scene of like them being like it's the reported that young Peter Parker is no, blah yeah, blah blah yeah, 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 and then he like yeah. he's like ooh and he licks the screen and for some reason this Venom who has never encountered Peter Parker is super like, like I have beef with him I have him. beef so I'm like did you guys literally just retcon it that you 
switched the dimension and it's done something to the venom, like just the symbiote that he now thinks he has beef with this person he's never met. Are you actually not even going to give us the emotional payoff of yeah. causing a, a conflict? Well, I was reading an article actually the other day okay. and I heard that e well i heard i read mm -hmm. that in the in the venom movie and even in the first one they even say how they have like a hive mind between all the symbiotes and oh, it goes right, right. Yeah. So and there's it goes a through yeah. all universes so there's a potential so it could be oh, like the Topher grace right. venom. oh okay. i like that okay that is okay. interesting okay. that is interesting that, so, okay if they do something like that that at least gives me something okay yeah okay i'm good michael keaton just did an interview where he did say that he was about to shoot some vulture stuff there you go but a yeah. lot of people think that it morbius. might be for the <laughs> for the morbius, Mor morbius. Oh, man, morbius. I, I, I can't believe this movie is real. I hate it. Every I hate time it. I, I hate, hate it so, so much. much. Every time I see it, I'm just like, I can't believe this is still happening. This literally looks like somebody was told you got to go clean out the like the film stacks downstairs, and they're like, guys, did you realize that back in 2002 we filmed an entire movie with Jared Leto, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and now yeah. they're editing it and putting it out. Like Jared Leto. Wait, Ten, really? No, that's how I feel. Okay, yeah, okay. No, no, it's no, like no. 20 years. Like, no, it's like this I feel what? Like no, it, to me, it's like they're like you guys, are like oh my god, this happened. Like and we just found it because that's what, it feels so painfully early 2000s yeah, it, yeah. Looks it looks like shit yeah. it looks so lame it looks so yeah. bad i'm so disgusted it looks so lame so and disgusted there's one moment in a trailer that i liked where like uh, he attacks a guy and the guy's like who are you and he goes i am venom yeah, yeah. and he goes venom. no i'm kidding it's just me dr morbius i'm just yeah. like okay fine you yeah. got it but aside from that yeah no I, I i don't know this movie is so unexciting to me i'm not expecting anything but i'm going to watch it <sighs> I, I just no uh, but i no, I, I, I don't want it to exist it's not even that i'm like it's going to suck i'm like upset that it exists and therefore has to be in the mcu like that's what i that's where i get if it's its own thing whatever yeah, i get yeah, upset yeah. i get yeah. angry <laughs> but the thing yeah. is like I, I don't think that he's doing vulture stuff for morbius because i think no, I morbius think so. is rap but yeah, it is yeah. Definitely he did wrapped. announce that uh doctor strange multiverse of madness is doing six weeks of reshoots oh my which fuck they've that's started, mm. okay which is not a good I sign first of like all that because either. usually a lot of people get nervous when they hear reshoots but a yeah. lot of reshoots are already scheduled but yes. right. six weeks of reshoots that's, that's a, a lot fuck that load you can of film movie. an entire yeah. movie in yeah, six weeks exactly. not like yeah. a marvel one but you can film an entire movie in six weeks they're so changing that is... a lot of shit and uh, i don't, I don't know like if it's that because the, the, the original mm. version didn't work because i hear it's related to test audiences just not connecting to the, with the movie uh, so I don't know, but I, the fact that he's saying now I have to shoot Vulture stuff when they're starting the reshoots. I just wish they'd let Derrickson Maybe. do it. I like Sam Raimi, but like I just wish let Derrickson make his Doctor Strange horror. Yeah, you know, yeah, don't, but, yeah. And then oh. because yeah, I'm sure he didn't want as much humor or whatever shit like yeah, that. But, yeah, but even then he's. Mm. I don't know. I'm interested to see what happens. Yeah, and that's one of the ones I'm more excited for. But now that I know there's reshoots, I don't. Ugh. All right, next one. Yes, the whole All disco right. thing kills me. Unpopular opinion: Grindelwald is an amazing villain. Until he was Johnny Depp. That's my <laughs> thing. Here's the thing. And I don't hate Johnny Depp. That's not against him. No, that no, is no. Like it's Colin just the Farrell execution so of the character. So good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I think in theory, Grindelwald is a fantastic yes. villain. Yeah. Like the idea and of what he means, one for Dumbledore, two yeah. for the Wizarding World, three for what ends up being the story of Voldemort. Yeah, and like the Harry Potter movies in general. Like yeah, when he's exactly, still there, yeah. great villain. But yeah, yeah. but it's, it's just like in execution, fuck, he does not work. No, it doesn't work. He does not work. I'm so sorry. And that sorry. was just bad choices on their part because like there's no reason why that shouldn't have worked. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I hate the fucking, the reveal in Fantastic Beasts 2 that like his goal is to stop the Holocaust. Yeah. Why would he? Yeah, have, no. Why? Uh, why? I, I hate, hate it. it. I so hate dumb. it. So uh, Grindelwald is an amazing villain. Yes and yeah. no. In, in theory, like on paper, yes. Yeah. In execution, but yeah, no. Yeah. Extended universe, huh? no. Original, yes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, that was quick. Next one. <laughs> I got nothing to say on that. Uh, yeah, he doesn't like Harry Potter. Yeah. We're not cutting him off. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So you're not coming to my annual Harry Potter marathon on my big ass TV. <laughs> Oh, come on. I want to get the invite. Yeah, <laughs> I want to be there. I don't want to go, but Jeez. I still want you to invite Maybe. me. Yeah. Yeah. I want the option. I want to eat pizza. <laughs> yeah. You should come. It's fun. God damn it. Harry Potter is good. Stop I would it. come. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I, I want to do one every year. I, that's why I got a 75 inch TV because I'm like, I want to do marathons of shit with my friends. Mm -hmm. So Hell like, yeah. that's going to be the move. Yeah, yeah. I, I know my girlfriend will jizz on that. That's for sure. <laughs> 75 inches of Harry Potter. 
with drool. There's a new version of there Jesus in my pants. There are so <laughs> yeah. many Jeez, ways you can cheese. take what you just said. <laughs> and like, okay, well, let's all take it the way I meant it. <laughs> uh, what he's trying to say is forward. Bruno's girlfriend yeah. is starting an OnlyFans. And, uh, <laughs> <God>. <laughs> Sorry, Mel. <Yeah. laughs> Sorry, no. Not going to happen. Yeah. All right, next one. Unpopular opinion. I thought Knives Out was boring, and I have no interest in watching the sequels. I actually haven't seen it. I love Knives Out. It's really good. I love, I have, love Knives Out. I yeah. know someone yeah. who doesn't like it, and it's like one of the big things we disagree on. And I'm like, I don't understand. She's like, I've seen it six times to try. And I was like, I Damn, like six, it six times to try. <laughs> you know what you know what I like to call this movie? Trying. I know. You know what I like this this I like to call this movie uh Ryan Johnson reminding everyone that he, he is he, a good director. He knows what he's yeah. doing. <laughs> I love yeah. Knives Out. I don't think it's boring. I think it's super exciting. I saw that at TIFF when it like the premiere, and I was like, this is so good. Yeah, I was like, no, oh, Okay. This is just him being like, I did Star Wars, they didn't work out. Now I just want to, I, I want to do a project yeah. where I just have fun. And we had a fun subverted like, yeah. who done it, like who done it exactly. Yeah. And it, it's a really good one. Yeah. And like the I, fact that he worked with Daniel Craig and, yeah. and uh, um, Chris Evans, uh, Ana de Armas. Uh, yeah, Ana de Armas, okay. and like every that whole cast in that is just really yeah, good. Yeah, Captain America. Yeah, you know, Cardigan. I it, in terms of the sequels, I was a little. <laughs> I was a little kind of like. I think it can definitely work, but like everybody loved Ana de Armas so much that it's like, yeah, will yeah. you resonate just with a, the Benoit Blanc series? But yeah, I think yeah, I will. Yeah. I think I like Benoit Blanc. He's fun. Ana de Armas is really good at. I know, actress. and then she's the one who figured everything out though, because yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. So I'm like, we're gonna follow you, a bunch of movies where the guy that should have figured it out <laughs> didn't figure it out. But I love, I love that that device that she has. Basically, he built a plot device yeah. around her character where she can't lie, and when she does, she vomits. It's like an it's oh a nervous reaction, yeah, so it's yeah. like yeah, it okay. becomes this whole thing, and, and it's like it, it, it's just, it actually, okay, yeah, I like that. when they introduced yeah. it, I was like, that's, that's Ryan Johnson being weird, but yeah. it actually plays a huge, huge part, part in the movie, yeah. and okay. it's so it's such a weird imaginative is, choice, yeah. to, a weird quirk yeah. to give a character. Yeah. It's so good. <laughs> it's like I heard a rumor so... that you have a regurgitation yeah. reaction yeah. <laughs> oh my God. to telling fibs, <laughs> and, and um, Ryan Johnson made bank on those sequels Ooh, i know oh, yeah. and he had such a good Dude. cast for he's like it's like so much money they're like giving him 400 wow. million dollars yeah, just it, for the rights yeah wow because it was the wow. highest grossing um like non-franchise related movie in like decades or something yeah they're original wow. an original, an original yeah. idea like something it wasn't based on a book it right. wasn't an adaptation it wasn't a remake it wasn't a biopic like yeah. just completely mm -hmm. unique idea right yeah. and i was wow. happy for him because I, I was so looking like I was expecting people to not turn up for this movie because of the Last Jedi and everyone thinking, okay, well, Ryan Johnson is mm. shit. Well, Ryan Johnson is a fucking good director. Yeah, he knows what he's doing. Yeah, and and yeah, you should you should really watch it. I'll it's check it on. Really I, I think it it's on Prime right now. I could be wrong though. I think it's on Netflix. Probably. Yeah, Netflix it's now. On Netflix. It bops around between the two. Okay. Yeah, because Netflix ne would have it now Netf because they Netflix, shelled out. Yeah, yeah. They, they got okay. they got the sequels. Yeah. So. Okay. That makes sense. But I'm excited because Daniel Craig is is coming back, and now every mm -hmm. movie he gets to have a new ensemble cast. Yeah, which is fun. You know. Yeah. I'm so excited to find it. Did they cast people for this one already? The second or the third? The second. Oh my god, yeah. The, every week there was like three weeks where there was just a new person being oh, added. Oh, yeah, Dave Batista. Yeah, Dave Batista it's just is constant, gonna be in it. Yeah, constant yeah, okay. new people being added, and I was like, I love them. Oh, okay, man. Okay, okay. Yeah. Ryan Johnson, let go of that trilogy. Don't do the Star Wars trilogy. I don't think he cares anymore. I yeah, think he's yeah, fine. Just, like, yeah, yeah. Do the Knives Out stuff. Yeah. This is your shit, and come up with new original stuff mm -hmm. because he's, you have he has good a genuine idea. talent yeah. for yeah. it. Okay. Yeah. Bread and butter. And yeah. Uh, so yeah, disagree this uh, this opinion. Yeah, I'm sorry. Knives <laughs> Out is Knives You're Out stupid. is fucking amazing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking suck. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next one. This one pisses me off. Uh oh. Unpopular opinion. I hated La La Land. Super <gasps> depressing movie. Here's my anger. I do not understand people who say that the ending of La La Land is, is depressing. It is, but it's not. It's not. They both get their happy I, ending. Okay, I have so it's, many thoughts. I have so many thoughts. Okay, go for it. Because you can, I want to scream. You can, you can go. Okay, yeah, no, it's, 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 it's just that, like, the fact that they both got their happy ending, both of them, but it's just that it doesn't involve them being together. Yeah, right. At it's the end different. of the day, they're dreamers. That's always dreamers. been the point of the fucking movie. Okay, yeah. La La Land was great. Well, it was really nice. And it, when that happens, it's a gut punch and you're upset. Yeah. But that is the reason why La La Land is memorable. Yes! That is the reason why it's good when she when you get in the room and you realize that he's not the husband. I am with my people. But the, and then I the thing is, people. the thing is, is you get it and it's like the whole thing and the whole, it's really interesting because the musical numbers start slowing down the more the movie goes because it's like that yeah, real, that, yeah. that idealization of like the dream and uh, the expectation versus reality 
as it starts shifting into what reality is when his not his dreams but at least him being able to play music and travel yeah, and yeah, picking yeah, up yeah. and she still isn't getting traction and it's yeah. hard being away and things aren't working and it just gets so miserable for a bit uh and then it kind of picks back up at the end and it's just they both get their dreams and it's it's like in some ways it is tragic because it's almost like you can't always have this like perfect romanticized relationship yeah, yeah. um the, that you it's want a movie, it's right. a love story yeah. about passion it's passion right. so like and it's if they want a, and that's yeah, their yeah. thing they're trying to pursue their passions and sadly sometimes like people's passions don't aren't compatible yeah exactly. so you and so people have to do different things it's like yeah we're both doing entertainment but i'm doing music you're doing acting so you need to go do this i'm doing this and it just it might not mesh we'll always have that moment and they have that look with each other it's like there's always going to be something there. yeah it's always going to be it's it's always always going to be be a thing um but now it's it's just something that's passed and they they at least got what they they got their dreams at the beginning she wanted to be an actress he wanted a jazz club they both you know, got their happy and they ending. got their happy. It's it's yeah. It just didn't involve being with each other. Yeah, is that's the thing. I just, I just hate people. It still I, makes I, me I hate miserable. It strong, it, like it still no, makes me miserable. No, but it's like but. people who are not capable of seeing the nuances of the story beyond the romance. It's like the romance was not the real love story. It's not. Of the it's their love. The loves are their passions and how much they love their passions and how yeah. that and how they saw that in each other. Yeah, and appreciated that in each other. Yeah. And, and then it just got to a point it's like it doesn't work we can't it's like one of us be, is one of us is always going to be sacrificing for the other and yeah, it can't because exactly, like yeah. i can't have a jazz club here if you're traveling you know can we tell right. that we probably uh. had similar situations in our own lives <laughs> 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 because we are way too passionate about this shit i was passionate about it before that but yeah like it is just kind of like a it's it's sometimes things just don't work out because they yeah, can't work yeah, out yeah. and like that's just that's sure. the thing like uh, it's like their real like their second true love is their careers yeah yeah and that's what they're gunning for and i yeah I that's like real that. it's, the, yeah. it's the it's, it's the slightly healthier version of whiplash whiplash is yeah, like yeah, i'm yeah. willing to destroy myself for one perfect moment <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Um, and same thing with black swan i'm willing to destroy myself for one yeah. perfect moment and this is like i'm willing to like temporarily destroy my happiness in a relationship to pursue my goals yeah, because exactly. that's what's yeah best and just me. learning to let go let go and and, and just, not end up in a situation yeah. where you resent each other yeah right. exactly it's yeah. just like because that yeah, that's what would have happened <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah exactly yeah. So would have yeah. only gotten worse yeah for sure anyways Ugh. you're fucking wrong you're wrong <laughs> <laughs> We hate you. Watch the movie again. <laughs> Please die. I'm, yeah, that's a joke. That is like uh, Scott Pilgrim. It's a Scott Pilgrim quote. Yeah. We hate I'll you. Bleep Please it. die. I'll bleep it. I'll bleep it. In a video game. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next one. Unpopular opinion. Kylo Ren is a great character in a terrible trilogy. They made him a great character. Or they made him a good character. He was really bad in Force Awakens. Yeah, I, I, I kind of like the Force Awakens. I hated him. He's, he's such, such a baby. Ass. He's yeah. such a baby. He's yeah. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, think, I think I think that's one of the um, that's one of the few things that uh that I really like Ryan Johnson he, made in terms of changes. He made him a go getter, like in in yeah. just uh, go getter yeah. and menacing, like more menacing. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Did you read the the script of what Episode Nine was supposed to be, the Colin Trevorrow <laughs> script? No. Yeah, I did. This script committed to him being a villain. And he was kind of hardcore. Yeah, and that's he like the was, best part of that script. Yeah, the best yeah. part of that script is that there's some things that don't work about that script, but like a lot, yeah. I think I don't remember all of it. I think uh, Ray ends is a blind. I think something like that. Like her eyes yeah. get slashed by a yeah, saber. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The movie was going to be really dark. That's I think it was going to be really dark, yeah, and yeah, it would have yeah, at least like been the, something. And there's a <laughs> yeah. 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 And Jenny the, Nicholson has a video on it if you want to like check. Yeah, it out. she reads okay. the whole script. I'm gonna check yeah, it out. and she uh, there's also some concept art that leaked. Yeah, oh. and it looked goth as mm-hmm. fuck, man. It's mm-hmm. super gray and shit. Like it looked so good. What could have been? All right, next one. This one, okay. Unpopular opinion. American Horror Story is probably the most shockingly overhyped show I've ever seen. I agree with that. I haven't watched it. Me neither. It is on my list of things to watch and cover. And I just never got around to it. Me, yeah, same. Um, I've seen like one or two episodes of like the first season. Uh, okay. And then it just kept going. And okay. I just uh, I just never had a chance to. And it's like, it w- hasn't been somewhere to conveniently watch in a while. Mm. Is yeah, the thing. Because yeah, yeah, if it was yeah. on a streaming service that I have, I know it's, I think it's on Hulu in the States. Oh, okay. Which you can conveniently okay. watch with, I won't say it here. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> uh, Adam and Eve. Um, but, <laughs> um, 
But yeah, no, I do want to watch it, but I've heard that. I just, it's one of those things because it runs as like an anthology. There's like seasons that are really good, then there's seasons that are weak, then there's some that but suck. But then I hear that yeah. like there's now the seasons are trying to connect all the previous seasons that yeah. were separated, Oof. and which is Oof. weird because some actors come back playing different roles. They've always done that, they which, always is, it, yeah. which is the roles. Mike Flanagan way, which it works for Mike Flanagan. I like it, but yeah, yeah it's, it's because, like an extended universe almost like you kind of, I'm fine with what they do with the actors coming back. So since I haven't yeah. watched the show, I ask people, I put up a poll, like, do you agree or do you disagree? agree right uh that it is super overhyped and 56 percent of people agreed oh. mm -hmm. so i don't know if it just because it did lose a lot of popularity yeah and it, i think yeah. it stopped for a year or two and then it came back i could be completely wrong though oh, it might actually, it just yeah. oh, i think probably. it did i yeah. think yeah, if i'm not mistaken probably. yeah i think so yeah because like every they have titles like asylum and shit like that and yeah they, and, and then like yeah, yeah yeah exactly yeah and coven and just things like that right. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. it was the witch one too yeah, yeah. did you watch all of it no i think i watched like maybe the first two seasons yeah i'm gonna go through it i will definitely go through it yeah. Well, unpopular opinion. <laughs> I think that Aquaman is the best and probably the only good DCEU movie. Uh, Shazam was good too. Shazam was fun. Yeah. Shazam's Shazam was fun, fun, but I find that the villain's totally inconsistent with the rest of the movie. Oh, extremely. Yeah. yeah. He's okay. way too campy for what that movie is. Campy was. and yeah. then like violent for something that's also like really kiddie. It's just weird. Yeah, I don't like yeah, it. Yeah, I love yeah. Mark Strong as villains usually, and I just, it didn't work here for me. Um, Aquaman is like some good stuff and then it almost feels like oh and here's the npc video game battle they have to make it through to make it to yeah, the next yeah, mcguffin yeah, and i'm like yeah. i can't do this um oh um, aquaman though <clears throat> that uh nicole kidman fight fight scene in the beginning Mental. that is good that is good Ooh. that's a one take bro yeah. that one yeah, take that's wow so good. Yeah, yeah, holy yeah. moly th that was dope i think yeah. my unpopular i think birds of prey is the best dceu movie wow i have not even watched it i yeah i like it a lot um i think Wonder Woman's really good until the final act, and then it just loses oh, it. Oh yeah, it yeah, sucks. the third act completely mm -hmm. it ruins it almost. Yeah. Um, Man of Steel has its moments, um, right. but other than that, like, what am I gonna pick? Like, I I'm going. I got Birds a controversial thing to say. Yeah, mm. like there's no or or James Gunn's Suicide Squad. Oh, that's, right, that's yeah, the yeah, best. yeah, that, yeah, that would be yeah. yeah. What's your controversial? Uh, my controversial one is I I I kind of learned to like batman v superman uh, i feel like Stop a lot of people stuff. have yeah but it's um, a movie that i had so it, it's the opposite um experience that i had with last jedi mm, last jedi like when i first came it. out i was like i liked it a lot the more yeah. i watch it the less i yeah, like it yeah and batman v superman the first time i came out in theaters because okay people don't remember that okay the hype there was for Batman v Superman. Yeah. I wasn't even hyped. I was like, this is dumb. <laughs> oh, no, the really? trailer was mental. The the, yeah. the Comic Con trailer for Batman v Superman is one of the best trailers ever cut. That's yeah. fair. But, I was just like, this is going to be a disaster. Oh, really? <laughs> I, I knew. I don't know what it was. The, I just knew. The, the hype was I didn't was watch it in incredible. theaters. I didn't. I was like, this is going to be bad. I'm like, oh, look, it sucked. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the first time I came out of the theater, I was so disappointed and I, and I didn't know how to feel and stuff. But I think the, the extended version, the ultimate version, I think it's mm, called, yeah. the okay. three hour one. One is oh, I never even watched that it one. kind of fleshes things out a lot more okay like yeah. i i find it baffling that they let the theatrical cut happen because you know how uh lex luther's plan makes no sense right yeah. it's because all of the context of his plan was cut out of yeah, the movie yeah, yeah. <laughs> all of like, it. people don't need context <laughs> yeah yeah exactly and, mm. and there, there's an entire character that plays into his plan that is not in the theatrical cut doesn't appear yeah. at all was completely yeah. cut out that's so fucked. and yeah. um that's fun and uh, at the end of the day, like, yeah, the more I watch this movie, I learn to enjoy parts of it, but it's still, it's still not a great movie. Yeah. yeah. But, my, uh, uh, my friend yeah. Bailey, um, Loverboy Media, has a really great video about why he loves that movie. He has, like, this whole series that's just called Why I Love, and, like, some of them are things that everybody loves, and other ones okay. are, like, really controversial things, and it's, like, here's the way to appreciate something, and his video on that is super good, so I'd recommend it. Loverboy Media... Loverboy Media. Loverboy Media. Media. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Batman cool. v Superman. Get on it. There's yeah. also the Cosmonaut Variety Hour video on why yes. he doesn't like yeah. Batman yeah. Lots v of Superman. Options. I'm just, you know, shouting out my small homies, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cosmonaut, you don't need help. Yeah, You're good. He's fine. He's fine. You're, uh, you are so good. <laughs> yeah, he's so good. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, Aquaman, oh, I don't. I don't think Aquaman is the best. It's not at all. It's not yeah. even close. It's like fine. It's good. I'll never it's watch it again in my life. I'll never watch it again. Yeah, me neither. Yeah, I saw it in theaters and I was like, okay. Yeah, and I'll that's never it. Watch it again. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'll never, never watch again. it again. Fair enough. Suicide yeah. Squad, the Suicide Squad. Yeah, not, the, not the yeah. First James one. Gunn's oh, yeah. Suicide Squad. I that like. was a lot of fun. That a lot of fun. Lot of fun. Uh, I, I do. I think, oh, man. I really hope that one day they decide to adapt the Harleen comic book mm. and they can put Margot Robbie in this psychological thriller yeah. vibe of how she... Because the thing is, if you don't know, um, 
uh, Harleen is a comic from the black label of DC, yeah. which are like super dark comic books. Mm -hmm. And it just gives you all the context of how she went into becoming Harley Quinn, mm -hmm. like her first sessions with the Joker yeah. as a therapist. And like, yeah. it's just so tragic because mm -hmm. you know that What's it's coming. inevitable yeah it's yeah. you know you know she's gonna turn but you're yeah. rooting for her to achieve what she wants to do because she believes that basically she works at arkham yeah asylum with all of the villains yeah. that batman bodied yeah and she, <laughs> she she really believes that there is a way to maybe reform these people reform these people yeah and she she and you, tr you watch her as she does she tries and tries and she tries to do conferences to convince people that you need funding to, yeah. to be able to do that and so it's such a good story it is it's really good and wow. i think that uh margaret robbie loves being harley she does and it's a g she, and i love that she loves it it's yeah. it doesn't matter yeah. how many times somebody's like this movie sucks she's like no i love the character and i think she's a really good version of the character yep. yeah yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah and i yeah. know she can she's do definitely. that aspect of the character do, too she can do yeah. the before she's like i'm carly yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly yeah. Yeah. she could can be do that amazing yeah. it could be amazing i hope they do that but well uh, she's done portions of that in yeah the like there was little clips and stuff but like i want yeah. the full one and i don't want jared leto no yeah, yeah, no, no i don't, I don't want his joker oh i, I did i did like i did like his scene in the snyder cut of justice league i hated it no. oh really oh i fucking I hated that it. i was like please no please god no jesus christ no <laughs> i liked it <laughs> jesus christ <laughs> no <laughs> jesus christ i'm like if you had just cut when he rips his shirt open and shows the superman logo we would be good yeah. this would be great it yeah. would be tolerable yeah oh, no I, I i i enjoyed i think i was okay with that because this was the first time you really saw him interact with the bat and it makes that's more, true the, I, don't care. I don't understand but there was still, a moment where him. dc had three joker projects in the works yep. none of them involved batman no how dumb are you i yeah my um how they would have made a better pitch for the original suicide squad would have been um because it never made sense to me that they would use harley quinn in a suicide mission when she's like probably the only remote thing to leverage they'd have against yeah. the joker yeah. so right, i thought yeah. it would have been better for the story to focus on the joker and trying to catch the joker so they're using harley to try yeah. to get him yeah mm, nice. and then batman can be in the mix at the same time because yeah. he's trying to do his own vigilante shit yeah and meanwhile they him. have the suicide squad running around and that could be like batman being like what the fuck what no, the fuck? Like, you're no, supposed Batman... to be in jail. You're supposed to be in fucking what? No, no like Batman continuously getting in the way of Amanda exactly. Waller. Exactly. Yeah. That would have been all Him, continuously, shit. him yeah. continuously undermining it because he's like, no, you're supposed to be in a fucking prison cell. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what the yeah. hell's going on here? So yeah. like, there could have been so much better. Just that that single single change would have made that movie immediately think, better, even with Jared Leto. Yeah, yeah David, right. David Ayer said that uh, he. Um, if he were to make Suicide Squad again today, he would have made Joker the villain. Yeah, well, he can say that's wow. because other people came up with that idea and pointed it out because I did it after I saw the movie and I'm sure a lot of other people did too. And he's yeah, like, oh, yeah. well, I'm bad at writing. But because the, the, Sorry, the marketing Air. campaign, the, the trailers... <laughs> kind of were edited to make you think they were going yeah. after the Joker. But I feel like yeah. I knew they weren't because I was like, oh, they already said, confirmed he's not really in it. So I know that's not what they're yeah, going to do. Yeah, apparently they cut a fuckload of footage of him. I believe like it. Like, I think Jared Leto said something along the lines of like, there was enough footage to make a movie with him as the center character. Yeah, Jesus I Christ. believe it. It's just such a bad, like, oh man. It's just frustrating because like it's, and I, I don't hate David Ayer. I think that he could make a good version of that movie, but him coming now and saying like, if I could do it again, and I'm like, <laughs> yeah, like six years later. My stupid passed. brain could have immediately told you the second you said, oh, we're going to take Harley Quinn and throw her against some kind of supernatural force. I would have been like, wouldn't it? And Chantress was such a bad call. I mm. know, but I love mm. Cara Delevingne. Oh, she's gorgeous. And I love mm. the, I, the bad I character. I know about Cara Delevingne, but I will remain silent. <laughs> okay, well, tell me later. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, I just liked that tragedy between like her just being like help me and like the the uh, this inevitability of this thing coming for her like that's so mm. compelling just not for this movie and not the way they executed yeah. it into yeah, becoming yeah, Enchantress yeah. Yeah. yeah June Mooney's super interesting super lots of ways they could have worked it didn't work in this yeah no because mm. they introduce her in a voiceover and then her romance is introduced in a voiceover and then the next scene you're supposed to care about their relationship yeah like her that a movie about that character would have been really interesting actually yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. you can do that would have been a great well. set up for, yeah because yeah. that scene for in the tub so good when it's just all the vines are around her and stuff oh, and yeah, she's just yeah, kind yeah, of like yeah. please help me yeah. please yeah, help me yeah, please. yeah oh no that that shot where she flips her hand yeah and she turns into enchantress such a creative shot i know yeah. i know like, like the movie, i was like you couldn't do that the whole movie yeah like seriously <laughs> uh it's just one of those things that's really frustrating but uh 
Yeah, yeah I'm going to take a note oh, to ask you about that. <laughs> yeah, do that. Yeah, it's fine. All yeah. I know about her is that there's footage of her walking a sex swing into her apartment with Ashley Benson of Pretty Little Liars. And I was like, good for you, ladies. <laughs> Damn. You do think they broke up, right? Yeah, they did like a um, while they, ago. Yeah, they broke up. Yeah. Cause, oh, yeah, because Ashley Benson, they started dating g Easy and g Easy has a song, I Want to Marry Cara Delevingne. So I thought it was really funny. That, like, <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. I was like, oh, that's so fucked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah. All right. Next one. Unpopular opinion. Avatar is a good movie. It's not the greatest of all time, but people hate on it way too much. Avatar is like my... the Last Airbender? No, Avatar, no, the Avatar, Blue Avatar. Aliens. That's actually my least favorite movie. Really? I despise buys avatar oh wow why is that i, I really okay. like it for one i don't like it i don't actually think it's good i think please the story... don't say the picantas thing no i, I hate it. Okay, i just cool. think it's i, I think it. it's a lazy movie uh i think that character motivations get really messy towards the end like they've already captured all of the fucking unobtainium of all the things so i'm gonna say they've already got it all and then for some reason they're gone they they have to be like no we're gonna go down and just destroy all of these resources that we could like harvest in the future just for fun and then like we get this like cartoon villain version of an army general that is so annoying um Qu- there's just all these little things his name is? Yeah. yeah there's just all these little things i haven't watched it since it came out but it pissed me off to be fair i went into it but so i was like i wanted to see sherlock holmes it was sold out so i was like okay we'll go see avatar my cat just died so i want to watch a movie and get happy and i was like what is this trash bullshit (laughs) movie and then the 3d gave me a headache and i was like james cameron's coming for you yeah no i hate it i think it it is absolutely uninspired like i don't even mind if you rehash stories like i'm sorry lots of stories will deal with a rich society pillaging yeah, the it's, it's native a very resources. Indians, it's like, a very yeah, it's Hollywood. Yeah, like, it's yeah, always because yeah. it's like Dune similar. It's 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 yeah. an allegory for like the Western world going in and pillaging, yeah, um, yeah, you know, Middle right. Eastern na- nations for their oil. Yeah. You know, it is like that is a thing that's always going to happen. I'm not going to get in its case about that. I just think it is like uninspired shit. I think it is a terrible, <laughs> terrible, Christ. terrible wow. movie. I that's hate the worst it. Worst review I've ever heard. From I think I think this is yeah. the strongest opinion, yeah. positive or negative. Yeah. And I can at least admit that I know that I went into that because like it gave me a headache my cat just died and because I didn't yeah. like it it hit a threshold I have a I yeah. have a thing called a, like I can be very reasonable for things that people hate and I mean like it really wasn't that bad but if something hits a threshold suddenly I'm like nope I hate it you're dead yeah. to me yeah, yeah, yeah. and I then I worked in retail when that movie came out and I had to deal with months of people being like oh my god is Avatar out yet oh my god is Avatar oh, uh, oh my god isn't this the best movie ever no my cat died and I, just, and, I just, <laughs> <laughs> and I just have to be like people sure like it sure made a lot of money a lot of really good tech demos in that so so you because mm, yeah, I just can't yeah. be like I think this is fucking stupid and you're stupid for like oh, <laughs> shit. I'm sorry if you like Avatar like it's fine I am I always of the fine. opinion I, I yeah, yeah I'm always I like of the it. opinion of like but I think that it's yeah. cool because you have an opinion that makes sense the problem that I have yeah. with Avatar is a lot of people always say like it's just the Pocahontas rip up and if you say that just know immediately I stop taking you seriously because you don't you do not have your own opinion yeah you do just repeating shit you've heard on the yeah because yeah. but yeah because it, it is it's a it does a lot it's like Pocahontas it's dancing with wolves it's got like the yeah. fern gully vibes yeah. it, like it's really yeah, fern for gully sure. with all the lights and stuff but like yeah. that's what yeah. I mean the reason why is because there's so many versions of those stories because it is one of the most consistent things that has happened throughout history yeah, yeah, so yeah. I'm not gonna call yeah. it on that there's just dumb things and it's just like when it turns into these cartoon villains going back down but again I'm always very much of the thought if something brings you joy Fuck it, love it. Yeah, That's yeah, great. Yeah, I yeah, love. Yeah. I never want somebody to dislike something and l- yeah, like no. you like. Yeah. Are you are you curious about the sequels? No, though? not at all. I'm miserable. I will. I refuse. Because oh. the the sequels to me is such <laughs> a like. <laughs> I want to be dead before one of them comes out. <laughs> You're probably gonna be. I might be by the time <laughs> it's done. <laughs> the, the, the Avatar two was slated to come out in 2012. Yeah. It's now slated yeah. for December 2022. This movie is 10 years late. Yeah. yeah. And they're already te- they're they're giving us instead of giving us like a trailer or like some photos or something mm-hmm. are we getting is like a release date for avatar 5 they're like it's gonna come out in 2028 and i'm like do you bro, is james cameron even gonna be able to move release, like, yeah like, exactly release the second one yeah and, then we'll talk and there's about no way five. that they're gonna have five out by 2028 there's no way there's no way because i think unless they, they've secretly wow. been filming like seven movies back to oh back. yeah he, he, yeah he shot, he shot exactly. a few of them i think uh i think he shot up to three they, they've, okay. they've shot at least two okay but like these movies keep getting pushed out and everything, mm. but the thing is, like, Avatar, despite being uh, the highest grossing movie in the history of cinema... <laughs> Only when you adjust. Yeah, <laughs> you, yeah. you adjust for inflation, and it's not. Yeah, but, like, he, yeah, it, it, it is the highest grossing movie in the history of cinema. Yeah, I know. But despite that, it's a movie that did not really mark pop culture. 
No. It's not like it's a movie. It, people don't quote the movie. People don't. People, you know what I mean? Half the time, no. people forget that the main character's name is Jake. Yeah. People, are, <laughs> like, people are like, I love it so much, and I'm like, what's the main character's name? And they're like, Jake Sully. I think. Yeah, yeah, Jake Sully. Yeah, Jake Sully. Jake yeah. yeah. Oh, I also just a nitpick. I thought it was really fucking dumb that they brought in uh, like university lo- level linguistics to br- like uh, to make up a language, and then they still called the thing that looked like the a horse that clearly wasn't a horse a horse. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's it was true. That's like a little nitpick. I was like, "That's true." You came up with a funny name for the dragons, and dragons aren't real, so you could just call it a dragon, and no one made question. But the thing that is clearly not a horse, you're gonna fucking call it a horse. Yeah, I think I think story wise, there are a lot of. Man. I think it's a movie that people enjoyed a lot for the visuals. I know, and because I, because for, and that's because oh I got a God. headache. I was just like, "Fuck." Yeah, this. yeah. <laughs> because for, for 2009. Shit. Oh fuck. Yeah, yeah exactly. Oh, yeah, shit. exactly. Tech, like it was, it was great for that. And I'm yeah. not gonna. I'm not gonna diminish it for that mm. but no i hate it <laughs> all right so uh just in case you didn't notice amanda does not agree with this opinion <laughs> don't add her <laughs> that Sorry. Is, is, uh, and i realize i'm slightly unreasonable because it's just built up over 10 years now that it's yeah, just like little feelings memory of, that is just, yeah, yeah it's just like yeah it's one of those things i'm like an old person i, need to re-watch <laughs> it. I, ha- I haven't watched it in like seven years i, I haven't I sh- watched I, it since yeah. i saw it <laughs> yeah i, I want to rewatch it I've it's really funny it my friend gave me a copy to do a skit with and i haven't done it so there was actually the like collector's edition dvd of Avatar has just been under one of my car seats for like seven years. What? Wow. It's just there. And I figure the longer I leave it there, the grimier it looks. It'll just be because re- I was planning on doing something. The most petty shit. I will never pick it up. Well, I was going to be like, no, I guess I'll, I'll, I'll wait until the second Avatar movie comes out to like line up to make an Avatar movie. And I was like, <laughs> patiently yeah. waiting. That yeah. was five years ago. <laughs> like, yeah. All right. Well, next one. Unpopular opinion. Olivia Pope is not empowering. She's toxic, and we would all hate her if she was a man. I don't know who that is. Yeah, I don't know who that is. Okay, for those who don't know, Olivia Pope is the main character of the show Scandal. Oh, yeah. And she's played by Kerry Washington. Yeah. And she plays like this hard ass. uh, She calls her, they, they call her a fixer. Okay. So basically, it's like whenever, and she works for like people that are in the White House and shit like that. And basically, it's like. Whenever, uh, let's say, there's a politician who he decides to sleep with prostitutes and do coke, and then like a yeah. prostitute overdoses and she dies, yeah. he calls Olivia Pope, and Olivia Pope will make it look like it never happened. Right. She will make it look like uh, it was a suicide. She yeah. will make it look like they, that's her job. Yeah, and gotcha. That's a pretty gangster job. There's that, a, there's, that, yeah, there, yeah, do yeah, you know yeah. how many people have that job? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, yeah. I think oh, there's a Ray Donovan that does that as well, yeah. which yeah. he does that, but for celebrities. Yeah. And Damn. Like, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. And I'm pretty sure that's a real thing. Yeah. Um, oh, I'm sure yeah, it is. Yeah, I'm, I'm absolutely sure positive it is. Thing. But uh, oh, but yeah. uh, it's kind of scary. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But mm-hmm. basically, that's that. And eventually, as the show goes, the show gets a bit too convoluted for its own good. But eventually, she kind of turns into this. Uh, she becomes the president of the United States, but from the shadows. Like she just gets so the much power. Yeah. Okay. And like by the end of the show, she is like probably the most powerful person in the world, but mm-hmm. nobody knows. Yeah. And um. Okay. It's it's interesting. It's good. The the show has so many bad moments, but like overall, it's it's a good story. I think, and Kerry Washington is really good in the role. But uh, recently, there's there has been a lot of this um, this debate around her character about how it's like the way she is. Like you know, she she's like a how, how do you, a girl boss. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. boss. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. she's a, she's a girl boss, girl and everyone boss. was like. All of the traits she has as a character are what we would condemn as toxic masculinity. Yeah. Mm. But because she's a female character, we see it as empowering. The good for her cinematic universe. The what? The good for her cinematic universe. Yeah, exa- yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. I want to know more about that because you taught me about that, yeah. the good for her cinematic universe, I which I think is really interesting. It is, yeah. You're making a video on that? I am, yeah. Yes! I, okay, I want to see that. I want to yeah. know yeah, about that. Yeah, yeah. Some of them, it's true. Some of them, it's like, yeah, good for her. And then some of it's like, Danny from Midsommar and I'm like she got indoctrinated to in a white supremacy cult like yeah. maybe not good for her maybe not good for her yeah exactly yeah, yeah. so yeah <laughs> exactly and and yeah I think uh, there's there's like a number of women that are kind of talking about that I've seen it on TikTok a lot of people being like Olivia Pope is not an empowering you, she's not like a hero she's not a no. feminist you're like, being attracted to the confidence and like the power that the character exudes without stopping and thinking like the horrible way that they're exuding that power yeah exactly yeah, yeah 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 right yeah like yeah. she's a she has one badass scene though in, in season six where um she figures out that uh so there was a murder mm-hmm. like basically there was an, an election and then the president that was elected uh, went to be inaugurated and got shot. And the okay. whole season, she tries to figure out who did it. 
and then she figures out that it was his wife that did it. Oh. Damn. And then at the end, she like that's her biggest power move in the show, and she's toxic and shit. But that was badass. Yeah. She sits down with her like uh, I think it's in the Oval Office or somewhere in the White House, yeah. and she goes, uh, "I know it was you." And the woman explains her motivations and stuff, and then she was like, "We can find a solution. I have a solution for you to get out of it without going to prison." Wow! And she's like, "What's the solution?" She's like, "You're going to die." And she was like, she puts a glass of water and like poison like in front of her, and she yeah. was like, "You're going to drink that. I'm going to leave the room, and you're going to drink that. And if you don't, I'm going to tell everyone you did it." And yeah. your life is going to be over, and your kids are going to like all of it. Oh, it's wow. such a power oh, move. Jesus. And like, Sucks. she does it. And, yeah. And like, there, there's. Did this, she drink it? Uh, she did. Dude, most That's people so self. Pre- yeah, most people's self preservation in like is way too high to allow that yeah, to happen. They'd the, rather yeah, they would rather go to prison. Doing, They'd yeah. rather. But like, season six has that thing where uh, Olivia Pope becomes so powerful that she starts kind of crossing the line of becoming a villain mm. because she gets mm-hmm. drunk on power. Of course. Mm. And, um, yeah, it's the Walter White, you know? like It's the Walter White, yeah, essentially, yeah. yeah. But they never committed to it. That's the part um, that, I, that I didn't like. Yeah. Because I would have loved it if she had turned into a villain and, like, actually got the presidency. That would have been fun. That would have been a cool ending. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I agree. I don't think I'm not the, you know, best place person to talk about that as a not woman. But uh, <laughs> I agree. Yeah. Not a boss <laughs> not <babe. laughs> But, uh, yeah, I don't think Olivia Pope is. And I do agree that she, if she had been a male character, not, not the same place in pop yeah, culture. Yeah, no. <laughs> not the same. Not, it, would, no. it would not have been the same yeah. thing. <laughs> but I asked people, because uh, I put up a poll, and uh, 71% of people agreed that she is a toxic character. Good, good, good. Okay, good. at least people yeah. see it. That. Yeah. Cool. Okay, next one. Unpopular opinion. Captain Marvel is not a bad movie. I don't think it's bad. It's okay. Here's the thing. <laughs> I saw Captain Marvel, and I liked it more than most people. You same. I rewatched it two months ago. This movie is not good. <laughs> okay. I haven't rewatched it in a while. Yeah, I, oh. I watched it. Yeah, to, I watched it, it twice. Yeah, this yeah. movie, this movie doesn't work. Um, oh. It's it's not it's not as bad as people make it out to be, but it is. Oh, there's so much about it that doesn't work. But it ends with celebrity skin by a hole. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> dun it, dun it. fine, we'll give it a pass. Yeah. 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 No, but I think to to me, it's like. Captain Marvel is the most boring part of the Captain Marvel movie. Yeah. I love Brie Larson, but like it's it's mm-hmm. kind of hard because she's supposed to come across as this like character that doesn't really know what her past is and that can make it hard for a person to have like a set personality. Yeah. So I get why yeah. it gets it gets rough. Yeah, um, yeah. It's just, it's just yeah. I, I don't know why. Like when I came out of the theaters I was like yeah, this is fine. I, yeah, yeah, I, I, I saw it twice in theaters and I was like I like this, you know? Yeah, yeah. and but yeah. now I, I rewatched it and I was like I get the criticism. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but it's like there's it reasonable criticism and then there's unreasonable criticism. Well, people so. that are just yeah. like, I don't like that she's a woman and like she can punch people real hard with the fun. That's not well, that's really like she bro, said a thing in an fun, interview dude. that I didn't agree with, so now I hate her for life. And yeah, it's like, exactly. calm oh, down. Yeah, like, we're, oh, relax. yeah, because of her conference when she was like, uh, yeah. this movie is not for a white man. Yeah, but it was like, people. to be fair, like, that's the only dumb, and it wasn't about, it wasn't even about Captain Marvel. It was no, about Wrinkle of Time. Wrinkle of Time, yeah. Yeah, but it's like, and yeah, like to be fair, that movie was just bad. It's for kids, but it was just a bad movie. Oh yeah. Uh, but yeah, I get her terrible. point of like, you know, we should be able like, why why are grown ass like men insulting this movie that's intended for kids in a way that they're insulting it? Like, you can give it a yeah, bad review, yeah, but right. some people were go- going at it like, and yeah. Me, yeah, that was a little bit of foot and mouth. Like, she probably shouldn't have said that. But like, then people went on like, because she said. You know, I'm not trying to exclude anybody from the table when she said I want more than just like the same white critics. Yeah. It was I want to bring more chairs to the table. Yeah, like it's but not I I'm just not trying think, to I just think yeah. she expressed it weirdly because yeah. the, the way she yeah. expressed it didn't seem like I want to bring more people. It's as if she was saying like it's but just then she did say it that way. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, clipped like, it though. It's the way the, they clipped yeah. it. The it, statement of yeah. like this movie was not made for you is very different yeah. from more people, people should, should be yeah. welcome to. Yeah. Right? You know, like it, it's because then it's like that do- it's a statement it doesn't really mean anything no because like, I'm sorry you know what a, I mean it's like because then like what is it is it because I know? think kids deserve better is my argument it's like yeah because uh, yeah, the that. best kids movies are the ones that work for adults too but yeah the way she said yeah. it was a little bit harsh like, but then everybody get on her case about everything and I'm like yeah. guys talk like this in interviews all the time yeah, but I th- you know I, I think there's something about her personality that just rubs people the wrong way a lot there's this Um, I think she's 
I think she's great. She's cool. And she has so much confidence. She has like a YouTube channel, so she knows like people just shit on her. There are people who have entire careers on YouTube just dedicated to shitting on her. uh, And she's just like, I don't care. I'm going to play guitar. Yeah, she does her. I'm going to do yoga. She she does her girl. She was on the the Dax Shepard's podcast. Yeah. And she in it, she talked about how like in the last few years, the biggest life lesson is like stop trying to please everyone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because you just never will. Because if you're as famous as her, never gonna you're happen. Never no. gonna happen. Even if you're not famous, never gonna happen. Because sometimes you can be but... so nice that people are like, I just hate them because they're so nice. Like, there's, yeah, you yeah, can't yeah, yeah, win. Yeah. You can't win. No. Yeah. Well, that was that's like everybody turned on. Um, Oh, uh, Katniss Everdeen. Yeah, uh, uh, Jennifer Lawrence. Jennifer Lawrence. Everybody oh, yeah. turned on her too just because quirky. she was. Yeah, <laughs> it was like she's too relatable. <laughs> yeah, she's too relatable. Actually, if you she noticed, likes pizza. How the yeah, fuck? Yeah, but a lot of that how happened after you? her nudes leaked. A lot of that flipped, and then suddenly, oh, she ev- changed a lot. And then, yeah. but then suddenly, everybody was like that i feel like a lot of the hate towards her really ramped up after that, and like her but, reaction to it. There was a thing it, where she did an interview on um on a uh, Ellen, where she was talking about how she genuinely she made a purpose of being rude to fans that came up to her and people that people didn't like that at all that's fair yeah but. and and i and i think mm-hmm. like like she she really she's almost bragging about being mean to yeah. people who come up to her and which stuff is like that. Uh, no and one likes that yeah no like, one likes that so gave you. i think it yeah. killed a lot of things but yeah mm-hmm. there was a shift with her where you know i understand the chris pratt shift because <laughs> Things got weird. Things got weird. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> Going on a walk, sitting next to God. Yeah, <laughs> but but like the, the Jennifer Lawrence thing is just like, no. she's too friendly, fuck her. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> that's so fuck weird. You. Yeah, and that's what, I, that's what I mean. And then to feel like you have to like change how you are. And then just the way people started like just calling her a whore because like, and, like she just, she, how many pe- how, like the, how many of you have asked your girlfriends or people that you haven't even dated for nudes and you're going to judge Jennifer Lawrence because somebody managed to hack her iPhone yeah, account? Yeah, like, yeah. Like, fuck yeah. you yeah. guys. Yeah, true, you yeah. fucking nasties. Like, and that sucks uh, because that, all, that, all, all those leaks yeah. happened when she was like at the height of Hollywood. She yeah. was like, she was at the time, she was in the middle of the of the franchises. She was an X-Men. She yeah. was like, everybody yeah. was talking yeah. about her. Yeah. And it was like the worst moment for that to happen. Yeah. Not that there is a good moment. No, but, like, but, no, but it's I mean, just like when... When you're already so her. in the public eye to have yeah. that happen is like, yeah, really yeah, bad that was timing. The worst. And I think she's she's gotten very private as a result. She did, yeah. yeah. And like, because yeah, this next movie she's doing with uh, Adam McKay, like the Leonardo DiCaprio oh, yeah, movie, yeah, 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 I Don't yeah. Look yeah. Up, is like the first time she's really been anything in a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She like, took a she, huge step she, after X Men. Yeah. It was just kind of like fuck this. <laughs> but I think like because yeah. fan backlash can really fucked up. Like like uh, what's her name? Uh, Daisy Ridley left uh, Instagram. Yeah, and stuff like that because, because she people, just could not deal yeah, with the backlash. And people the mostly Jedi. liked wow. her, and yeah, it was like yeah, yeah. And, like oh, I feel so bad for what happened to Kelly Marie, Kelly Marie Tran. That's, the people are oh, monsters. Yeah, she deleted and, her. And some um, of that, most yeah. of it, a lot of it was racism with her. It wasn't just we hate your character. I will never yeah. understand people who go at actors because they hate characters. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm like, this is fault. a you and like any capable. single one of you would have taken this yeah. role. Yeah, all you like. like you know what was the stupidest guys. case of that is um yeah. in at the the very end of Empire Diaries, there's a, a scene where Damon and Alina kiss, and Ian Somerhalder, who plays Damon, had just gotten married to um uh Nikki Reed. Oh, and, and people she, were actually being like people were mad. They were like, "I don't. You, know, why would you kiss her? You have a wife." Because they can't separate that acting. he's playing a character. How many people do you think kiss in movies? Do you think people break up? Yeah, exactly. For a bit, <laughs> just a bit. Do you what? think? got to go on a break. Do you think they say movie? like, "Yeah, yeah. what the." F- we're gonna separate. Yeah, I know. Gotta yeah, record it's, a new it's movie. So, it's acting. You it's fucking so weirdos. Like, there were there were really like comments like being like. You know, like, I, I really like the finale, but, like, I, I didn't feel good about that kissing scene. Like, I don't know. Like, he has a wife, like, and it's just, like... So do most of them, yeah. you fucking knobs. Most of them are married. It's so what, weird. What two people what are weird? What kind of comments? It's, it's very weird parasocialness that, like, it's so unusual. Social media just makes it weirder and weirder, It I does, think. and that's yeah. why... And it's worse for, like, people who are, like, online creators. Like, it's so much yeah, worse because, because it, you seem more point. approachable and more, like, relatable. Yeah. yeah. It's so worse people... for... Sh- it's Streaming is the worst then I'd say YouTube and then like everything from that on Stream, mm-hmm. streaming is because there's such because it's a direct conversation just, it's yeah, right it's there streaming, people yeah. literally think that you're a friend and I don't mean that in like a cruel way because I have made a lot of really good friends streaming yeah but there's people that I'm like I don't know what you look like I don't know what your real name is I, I don't know how yeah, I don't know how old you are but yeah. like you see you can see me I can't see you like you're just like unfortunately a faceless person mm-hmm. and I and I think it's normal because I'll watch YouTube videos and feel like I know somebody because I've been watching their videos and stuff yeah, and like yeah, you feel yeah. like you get like it's like oh they're so cool you know 
Um, and there's a certain degree of that that's always going to happen and be a little bit normal. But then there's the people who take it to that next level. Yeah. It's, yeah. And it's can't just, separate it. Yeah. Oh, man. But yeah, just not being. And I understand that for like us, because when we're on camera or whatever, it's us. It's us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But like in Summer Holder is not Damon Salvatore. Yeah, he's <laughs> like, like, he ain't a vampire. Yeah, he's yeah. not yeah. Damon Salvatore. Like, that guy's yeah, not 157. Yeah, like, sorry, yeah. guys. Like, Rosalie Cullen didn't marry Damon yeah, Salvatore. Holy Spoiler shit. alert. Multiverse. Yeah, They're going to be in no way yeah, home. Spoiler alert, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Damon <laughs> is the sixth villain. <laughs> yes, I would take it. <laughs> Oh my god, man. It's it's, Plot twist. Yeah. it's really weird. But it's very Yeah, that's weird. All right. One last one. Well, one last All one. Right. All right. This is great. In <laughs> popular opinion. While I liked season two, Big Little Lies should have only been one season. It was perfect. Didn't watch it. Didn't watch it. So wow. This is probably a bad one to end on. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I'll find another yeah, one. Sorry. Sorry, bro. <laughs> oh, well, this one we touched on uh earlier. Percy Jackson movies are actually good if you watch it without the context of the books. Yeah. Maybe not the second one. Well, I never... I don't know shit books. about but, the books. I hate the movie. But the first one, I don't know oh, what the it was. The second one. I hate the second one. Yeah. The first one's okay. fine. Okay, so the first one we were playing, like I said, we were playing it on the screens at HMV, and I was just like, oh, like, coming of age story, Greek mythology. I love yeah. coming of age stories. I was like, yeah. this is dope, and you're watching it, and I'm like, it's cutesy. Yeah. And then you, re and then if you, I read the book after, so it's like, I will always just have how I adjusted to the... Um, the movie when I first saw it and then I can get my added better context rather than being right, a right. huge fan of the books and then having that movie suck ass yeah. so I'm right. like it's not that bad if you just kind of like it's fine no. yeah, it's cute yeah, it's fun right. if I, it's I would fun. put that on right. in the background while I was working on things like Definitely. it's fine yeah. Yeah. yeah I just don't it's just like I tried I rewatched the first one and I still think yeah it's yeah. okay but that's the second one. The I second one's I, bad. I can't get through it. I can't get through yeah, it. Yeah, Sea of Monsters I is bad. I cannot get through it. <laughs> it's bad. It's awful. Maybe that has Rosario Dawson in it and everything. It's so weird. Yeah, Because uh, that's weird in the books, too, that I'm like, why is this grown woman trying to make a move on a teenager? <laughs> yeah. A young teenager. Because like uh, from what I understand, they aged them up from the Because in the they books, do. they're like 12, They're right? 12, they're yeah. Like they aged them up. They're fucking wow. young. And he, he fought that, too. He was like, please don't age them up. Like, this is supposed yeah. to be like, there's like them being the age they are is like part of their characters. So. I wonder if they're going to age them up for the Disney don't Punch think show. so I think they're going like they're going the original ages and stuff and I get why they age people up sometimes like I feel like a solid age would probably be 14 if they put them as four, not 12 but 14 because then they're like high school age right you can get yeah. away with them doing a little bit more that's like risky and dairy mm, yeah. I don't even mean like like kissing or anything I just mean like action wise they can get away with doing a little bit more and I think it opens up to a wider viewing base because like adults don't really want to watch like an entire like series yeah, with actual yeah. children and yeah. stuff so like I get that. That's my mm. thought. Maybe yeah. around fourteen. I'm 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 actually pumped for the show. Hell yeah! Yeah, yeah. Me too. I, I oh, do yeah, I do yeah. want to see where they're gonna go because mm. I don't know the world. Like I don't know the the, the books. Yeah, I right. Don't know how things, I don't know how things play out. Right. So if they yeah. actually it's stay basically. Accurate, well, yeah, I guess you would know because you watch. It's just like Greek gods yeah. have sex yeah, with yeah, humans. Yeah, exactly. Like yeah, it's yeah, a yeah. thing, you know. Yeah, and so they, and this is where their demigods' stuff. children end up. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm excited to see. Do they actually cool. end up like fighting actual gods? Because yeah, they fight they Ares, do. right? Yeah, they fight yeah. gods. Okay, yeah. they do. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I, yeah. I really loved Hades in that movie. Yeah. He's like a rocker. Like, yeah, hardcore, I love it. Like, yeah. I don't remember. Oh, he that's in the second one. And yeah, in his in Persephone is is Rosario Dawson. Right. Yeah. And she's trapped there, and that's why she's like, please free me from this. Oh, I did not know that. And I, yeah. I do remember that um, uh, there was a guy with one eye and the CGI was awful. <laughs> I remember that oh, for the fuck, second I movie. I can't remember yeah, that right that now. Oh, like the centaur? Or yeah. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, I know you mean. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, with one yeah, eye and terrible yeah. hair. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I mean. Yeah, I know yeah, who you mean. I can't think of his that. name right now, but yeah. All right. Mm. Well. Tyson. Probably. Tyson the half-brother. Tyson the half-brother. Not a centaur, but a... Um, Cyclops? Cyclops, thank you. Yeah, like Cyclops. A Cyclops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tyson the what Cyclops. Are we yeah, yeah, it's Cyclops. Well, because there's also centaurs. Yeah, I know. Who was played by Pierce Brosnan? Yeah. Which is so gangster, yeah. though. Jesus. Yeah. All right. Double O Centaur. All right. Well, that is going to do it for this episode of The Mothership. Thank you for joining us. See you next time. Peace out, sexies. <laughs>